Stop agreeing to these states of being. To those who are alone, there is a difference between being alone and lonely. You are alone mostly by choice. You have became more aware and cognizant of the division and separation of energy, right? You have done more work than you did whenever you were lonely. You've done more work and shadow work to swift through the circumstances that you projected and you welcomed and invited into your life. So you are alone in this season by design. You are the architect of your life. So since you have went through that period of loneliness, now you are alone. So this is time for you to really reflect and really bring pieces into your life that you know is going to work for each other. It's never about me. It's never only about you. It's about we. It's about us. It's about the connection that we all bring to one another. There's things that you, that your comment is going to feed me that is going to push me to make this video or have this stream idea or re-edit my videos in a certain way that gets people more connected to the message. You see, have friends, have acquaintances even, have strangers who you see on a regular basis, maybe at the store, co-workers, at the gym, right, who are puzzle pieces and chess pieces in your life for that reason because what somebody should be for you is what you should be for them. I want to say that again. What somebody should be for you is what you should be to them. And that's how this evolution, this, this change, this change, this revolt starts. It happens in the subconscious mind, the psyche. It happens in the psyche first. So then when we meet people at the gym, at grocery stores, shopping markets, right? Church, work getting something to eat, a restaurant, you are going to project and attract entities that gravitate towards your energy. You see? And that's important. That's important because in that state of you being alone and in solitude, that solitudeness allows you to Swift through things, like I said, from a unbiased, unegocentric place. You see, it makes you really observe situations without your feelings. When your feelings are intact, you are biased. When you are afraid, when you are in fear, you are biased. When you don't fear, when your feelings are not completely involved in the circumstance or situation at hand, you can really make the most righteous, subconscious service changes because this is going to be of service not just for me, but to my life. And my life is those who I'm impacting, I'm influencing. You see what I'm saying? So to those who are alone, you're in a phenomenal place. Pat yourself on the back. You are doing great. The situations in which you've experienced, you know, were placed there for your benefit, for your gain, for your aid. Now take off the bandages and get the work. Start attracting the people, places, and circumstances that you need to attract to elevate you to the next level.